Zechariah chapter 14. See, a day shall come for Yah, and your spoils shall be divided in your midst. And I shall gather all the nations in battle against Yahushalayim. And the city shall be taken, the houses plundered, and the women ravaged. Half of the city shall go into exile, but the remnant of the people shall not be cut off from the city. And Yah shall go forth, and he shall fight against those nations as he fights in the day of battle. And in that day, his feet shall stand upon the Mount of Olives, which faces Yahushalayim on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall be split in two from east to west. A very great valley and half of the mountain shall move toward the north and half of it toward the south. And you shall flee to the valley of my mountain, for the valley of the mountains reaches Atzal. And you shall flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of Uziah, sovereign of Yehuda. And Yah, my Elohim, shall come, and all the set-apart ones with you. And in that day it shall be, there is no light, it is dark. And it shall be one day which is known to Yah, neither day nor night, but at evening time there shall be light. And in that day it shall be that living waters flow from Yahushalayim, half of them toward the eastern sea, and half of them toward the western sea, in summer as well as in winter. And Yah shall be sovereign over all the earth. In that day there shall be one Yah, and his name one. All the land shall be changed into a desert plain from Geba to Rimon, south of Yerushalayim, and she shall be raised up and inhabited in her place from Benjamin's gate to the place of the first gate and the corner gate, and from the tower of Hananel to the wine presses of the sovereign, and they shall dwell in her, and there shall be no more other destruction, but Yerushalayim shall be safely inhabited. And this is the plague with which Yah plagues all the people who fought against Yahushalayim. Their flesh shall decay while they stand on their feet, and their eyes decay in their sockets, and their tongues decay in their mouths. And it shall be in that day that a great confusion from Yah is among them, and every one of them shall seize the hand of his neighbor, and his hand rise up against his neighbor's hand. And Yehuda shall fight at Yahushalayim as well. And the wealth of all the nations around about shall be gathered together, gold and silver and garments in great quantities. So also is the plague on the horse and the mule, on the camel and the donkey, and on all the cattle that are in those camps as this plague. And it shall be that all who are left from all the nations which come up against Yahushalayim shall go up from year to year to bow themselves to the sovereign Yah of hosts and to celebrate the festival of Sukkot. And it shall be that if any one of the clans of the earth does not come up to Yahushalayim to bow himself to the sovereign Yah of hosts, on them there is to be no rain. And if the clan of Mitzrayim does not come up and enter in, then there is no rain. On them is the plague with which Yah plagues the nations who do not come up to celebrate this festival of Sukkot. This is the punishment of Mitzrayim and the punishment of all the nations that do not come up to celebrate the festival of Sukkot. In that day, set apart to Yah, shall be engraved on the bells of the horses, and the pots in the house of Yah shall be like the bowls before the slaughter place. And every pot in Yerushalayim and Yehuda shall be set apart to Yah of hosts. And all those who slaughter shall come and take them and cook in them. And there shall no longer be a merchant in the house of Yah of hosts in that day.